G'day there. Today I'm going to interview a bug man you may know. It's mid-April here and we had an ant flight a couple of days ago. What month is it for you? It's uh, mid-May, which is sort of towards the end of autumn. Mid-May, a whole month later. What's the weather like? It's a relatively warm afternoon. It's a great day to fly. What do you mean? If you're an ant. Now that I've got your attention, what is an ant flight? It's basically a mating flight or a nuptial flight, as some people like to say. At certain times of the year, mature ant colonies produce winged males and winged females within their nests. These are reproductive ants, unlike worker ants that you normally see, uh, which are all sterile females. Reproductive ants start new colonies and the females become the queens of those new colonies. Ants fly when weather conditions suit them. Some ant species which nest near here fly during spring and autumn, while other species fly during summer. Winged females emerge from the nests, escorted by the worker ants, and climb up the nearest tallest foliage and fly upwards, releasing pheromones as they go. Winged males emerge at the same time and fly up into the air following the pheromone trails. As more and more males and females find each other, they form a whirling column of ants, a phenomenon I once heard described as an ant cyclone. It's a very apt description. All nests of the same species within an area are synchronized. So they all fly at the same time, which is why so many ants are involved in these events. Males and females find each other and begin mating on the wing and then later descend and continue mating on foliage until they separate. The females then start looking for suitable nesting sites. Males are no longer required, so they die soon after. The females don't need their wings any longer, so they chew them off. Once a female finds a suitable nesting site, she begins laying eggs and starts her new colony. If you like this video so far, why not give it a thumbs up? When you see a large ant flight, you might think that's an awful lot of potential ant colonies. Only a small proportion of those ants survive. An ant flight is a food bonanza for many predators. Birds like martens and swifts feed on the flying ants, as do um, insects like dragonflies. When the ants land, more birds and small mammals and reptiles and insects and other invertebrates all join in the feast. Ant flights must be the stuff of nightmares if headlines like this are anything to go by. On exactly the same topic, the BBC was much more restrained. The UK weather radar had picked up a nuptial flight of black garden ants. These ants might fly any time over the UK summer, from about June to September. So no cause for alarm, really. Some may confuse an ant flight with a termite flight, but ants and termites are very different insects. Ants are in the same order as bees and wasps and sawflies, while termites are social insects which evolved from cockroaches. How do you tell the difference? Flying ants have two pairs of different sized wings. The front pair is bigger than the hind pair, but flying termites have two pairs of similarly sized wings. Ants have elbowed or bent antennae, but termites have straight antennae, and ants have that sort of typical narrow waist, while termites don't. If you want to see more of the clean-shaven laconic me from a few years ago, check this video out here, complete with wobbly GoPro footage and a soundtrack by yours truly. Thanks for watching.